Okay, so this video is probably very long overdue, but I noticed a lot of other resellers were partaking in the bunker challenge, which was actually introduced by George, the antique nomad. I'm a little late for the party, but I decided that I would participate in this bunker challenge and show you guys some of my bunker. And basically, I'm just going to give you a mini house tour. Um, in this video in particular, we are going to go through my living room. It's been over a year since we moved in, and the last time I filmed the house, it was pretty sparse. I think we had a couch, a TV, and an empty dining room. Pretty much everything here in my living room, I've bought secondhand. So <laughs> this is gonna be fun. We are going to go through my living room. And then in the next video, maybe we'll go through my dining room. But we're gonna do it piece by piece because there's a lot of stuff to take in and a lot of stuff to talk about. And uh, yeah, I thought this would be fun. So here we go. We're gonna start here at the door. You guys are probably like, what, the door? Oh yes, we're gonna start at the door. So this is my front door. Uh, <laughs> since we've moved into the house, we actually started researching the property a little bit. And we found that our house wasn't actually the first house that stood on this property. There was a house here prior. It was three times larger and they had the exact same door. So their house was built either in the early to, or to mid 1800s. And we have a photo of the family standing out in front of the house, in front of this door. So I believe what they did is they salvaged the door when they took down the old house and used it to build this house. So I absolutely love my front door. I loved it before, but now I love it even more, um, especially the glass and the way the light shines through it. So this is our front door. Um, I did wipe off all the little kitty handprints because the kids, <laughs> kids love to wipe their hands all over it. So I did do that. Uh, up here we have the cat that I bought at Finders Keepers in Cross Keys. I don't know if you remember the kitty cat, but he lives up there now on top of the door. I just love the, the large ledges that we have in this house and I like to use them to display things. So that is our big ledge and we have the cat living up there. Then <laughs> this is my coat tree uh, that Andrew and I disagreed about. Uh, he did not want a coat tree and I did. And you can probably guess who won that argument based on the fact that it is now in my living room. But yes, this is my coat tree. This is where the kids hang their coats and their backpacks and all that stuff. It's actually pretty plain. It was probably just like a homemade thing, but it's got hooks on it and it serves its purpose since we don't really have many closets in the house. Over here, we have this beautiful cabinet that I actually got from Community Aid and I paid $15 for it. Only $15. We walked in and it was sitting in the foyer. There is a little chip on the glass. I think it's right, 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 right here. But it was seriously only $15. And I had been looking at them on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and they go for like $400 on up. So when I found this for $15, I was so excited because I wanted one so bad. Um, so yeah, this is my mid-century little china hutch, I guess you would call it. Um, I think it's actually a buffet of some sort, um, but I absolutely love it. I put all of my spare glass up here. So this is the glass that I'm not currently displaying in the windows or behind us in the videos. Uh, this is just kind of the extra, the extra glass, if you would. I have its extra glass stashed other places as well, but this is some of it. I've got lots of glass. Occasionally, Andrew sneaks little things up into my extra glass, like this. I did not put that there. There's only one other person who would have. So, uh, this piece right here actually came from somebody in the metal detecting community who does 3D printing, and he specializes in miniatures and he made a miniature me and he was so detailed in it uh this was when i came back from england or maybe the netherlands oh no this is when i was in italy in the netherlands and i came home and andrew had this waiting for me i was so excited um he he even got the color of my phone case at the time uh, my favorite metal detector and of course i added the little fox in the grass because i needed a friend while i was metal detecting so 
I absolutely love this piece. And his website, I think, is on the back. Let's see. Yes. Mydetecting.com. So he's just super talented, but he does a lot of different people in the metal detecting community. And he just surprises them. It's wonderful. So he did that for me. Um, in here, I've got some of my glass on display. Andrew agreed that we would both share a shelf. Um, so he's got the bottom and I've got the top, except that's his metal detector. So it actually belongs on the bottom. Um, but these are just some of the pieces of glass that I've collected over the years. Um, some of them, like the snowman one back here, this was a piece that my great aunt had um, and at her estate sale, I was able to get a few pieces before my mom's cousin sold them all. So I was pretty thrilled about that. Um, this piece right here, Andrew got from Bill at the flea market. Uh, this is super special for a number of reasons. First of all, because it was gifted to me by Andrew. And when he gave it to me, he's like, I know this is in really bad shape, but I know that you love cats. And I, I don't think I've ever seen this one before. He was just, he was, it was very adorable when he gave it to me. And uh, so he handed it to me and it is, it is in really rough shape, but it was a pattern that I had never seen before. And it actually has cats on it. And I think there was mice as well. Maybe it's just cats. But anyway, uh, this particular pattern, let's see if there's a tip on the map, but this particular pattern is, 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 is pretty valuable. And the last piece that I saw selling on Worth Point um, in good condition, I think sold for three or $400. I would never sell this, it was a gift. It's in bad shape, um, but it, it means something to me. It's sentimental. And that's one of my favorite pieces of carnival glass. So I have that in there. Uh, down here on Andrew's shelf are some of his metal detecting finds. He found these while I was, I think this was when I was in England. He went, oh no, no, this was when I was in Canada. When I was in Canada, he went up to New York to metal detect with some of his friends and they metal detected at a trade site, a Native American contact site. And so basically this is this is a contact site where the the English people had contact with the Native American people and they were trading and so they were trading copper copper kettles and the Native Americans would make arrowheads out of them and they would make points um here you have got a stone point uh he could talk at length about this stuff i mean he knows it better than i do but this is just some of his cool stuff here's a jesuit ring um, and a turtle effigy. This is this is one of his prized pieces right there. I think people have offered him money for that, but he he never sells his finds. So here's some of his favorites. Got some iron stone in there. This is a little. I got the kids clay one year for Christmas, and they wanted me to play with them, so I made this little fox and I gave it to Andrew. <laughs> uh, this was a gift from my friend John. He gifted that to me because he knows I love cats. And it was kind of like a Siamese mid-century looking cat. So I like that cat. The giant cupcake. Um, so <laughs> the story behind the cupcake is, if you remember in my buying quarantine gifts for my family video, I bought Ashton a donut. And I gave it to him for his birthday. And there was and upset because Juliet really liked the donut and she was so upset that she didn't have a donut. And so uh, the solution was to go on to Vintage Heidi on eBay and see if she had any other plushes available similar to the donut. And she had a strawberry cupcake. And so now the strawberry cupcake is living in our living room on Juliet's chair. <laughs> All right, over here in the window, um, the lamp is one of my older buys. I believe I got that one from Paul a long time ago. I've been buying from Paul for years and years and years. Years before I started Crazy Lamp Lady, I was buying from Paul. Um, but I, I believe that piece was a Paul piece. Um, over here is the Blinko water pitcher that I bought from Paul just the other day. And I just realized I still have the price tag on it and I should probably take that off at some point. Maybe not right this second. 
uh, here, <laughs> you guys may remember this piece. Um, that is the urn that we called George. Uh, I had purchased that at a Goodwill and I, I made a remark about it being super heavy and some of the viewers in the comments were like, that's an urn, Jocelyn, that's an urn. And I thought, no way, you cannot be serious. I got it home and I opened it up and there was ash residue in the, in the urn and I didn't want to just dump it out and I didn't really know what to do with it and so I kept it and I just... I guess respect it and display it and I have no idea who it is or who it was I call it George um, <laughs> my kids are a little weirded out by it and I think Andrew is too he just doesn't want to admit it but uh, that is what that is uh, over here was a gift from my friend Tanya at Reclectic Decor uh, she's now at the Carlisle Antique Mall uh, we saw her a few weeks ago when we did that throwback to February. But I saw that on Instagram and I commented on it and then I, I met with her for lunch. She gave it to me and I thought that was so sweet. So I have the little, I guess the little cow, but he was just adorable. So um, here, this actually used to be in the window before George got a spot in the window. Uh, this is a six pack Pepsi Cola Caddy. Um, it is the double dot. You can see here, there's a double dot. Uh, these bottles were actually dug. That's why they're so dirty. They need to be cleaned. They were dug out of the ground. <laughs> um, but they are also double dot. Oh, this one is, that one's not. And we've got a little cup here. That is a double dot cup. And this one, there is a syrup line. So they would fill it with syrup and then they would add the fizzy water and just ignore that coca-cola bottle back there behind i don't know how that got there honestly but it's not supposed to be there because in this house we drink pepsi <laughs> just kidding andrew is obsessed with coca-cola all right um let's take a step back and talk about the couch for a second if you guys remember my my couch hunt i was on the hunt for a couch before we moved in here and i was going to all these stores and the couches were just so expensive and we didn't have a whole lot of money to spend moving into this place and so we started looking on craigslist and facebook marketplace and somebody had posted this couch and it came from a super clean home like it, it was immaculate and if it wasn't it would show because it's a cream colored couch it's pottery barn brand and the woman was selling it for 500 dollars, and it looked like new and in new condition they sell for like $5,000, so yes, all day long. So this is our couch, our $500 couch. Um, having kids and having a cream couch does present a challenge. And there are constant reminders of don't eat on the couch and get your dirty feet off my couch and that sort of thing. But uh, for the most part, the couch is surviving and only takes a little bit of spot cleaning here and there. So, that's the couch. I love the couch. Uh, this, oh, this lamp. <laughs> this 1980s amazing lamp is, I got that at the Goodwill and, oh no, 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 I got that at Salvation Army. I bought that at the Salvation Army in Carlisle and um, I paid $7 for it and I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it into my car, but I just absolutely loved it and I brought it home. And of course, and I bring things home and Andrew looks at them and it, at first there's resistance, but then eventually he just either gives in or, or, or accepts it. I don't know. But now it's just part of our home and the kids love it because it gets super bright. It hurts my eyes if I turn it up too high. But um, and, it, and the funny story is we actually had them turned down for the longest time. And Andrew was sitting here the one day staring up at them. I don't know why, but it occurred to him that they were upside down. And, and then he turned them up towards the ceiling and suddenly it was perfect. So that's my lamp. Uh, over here in the window, I have some glass displayed. Uh, this piece was from Paul. I think I paid 19 for the one on the left. Um, that piece right there was from the Lancaster Goodwill. I'm not sure about the one in the center. That one I think was from Eric. 
That one was from Emsburg Antique Mall. And then the two little owls came from Eric. And the pile outside the window was from when I cleaned out my car the other day. We're just gonna ignore that. Up here, um, this is actually something that my mom gave me for my last birthday. It's just this text, but um, she believed she could, so she did. It means a lot to me because I tried at YouTube for so long, years and years and years, and it just wasn't working. And my parents would just tell me over and over again to get a real job. <laughs> like in a nice way, it wasn't like, Justin, you need a real job. It was, maybe it's time to look into getting a real job because this isn't working out. And, uh, you know, and, and this past year, as Crazy Lamp Lady has become successful, it's just been such a blessing. And this for me meant so much to me because it was like my parents saying, okay, you believe that you could do it and you did. And so this was from my mom and it means a lot to me. And I have it right next to my silver play button for the Crazy Lamp Lady. So that's what that is. Um, down here, I don't remember where I got that, but I love it. It's just like this little mid-century thing. Of course, I got the cat bag there. I bought the ladder. I paid $5 for that at Bedford uh, Antiques. And that was actually, I was gonna hang quilts off of it, but it, I tried and it just didn't look right. So now it lives back there behind the couch. Uh, this, this lamp right here is one of my absolute favorite lamps of all time. And I bought this from, from Paul and I think I paid $39 for it. And it was from Paul. It is uh, the, the Royal Hager Koi Fish Lamp. And um, it's got this Koi Fish pillar here. And now most people would probably put plants in the base, but I have Doug stuff. Uh, metal detecting finds, various Doug things. Uh, I've got this china marble. I found that in a next to a general store. I imagine some kids were probably playing playing marbles and got lost. Uh, this is a, a Native American scraper. I found that at a trading post on the top of a mountain. Uh, a Bennington style marble. I think. Oh yeah, we got a Civil War bullet. You know, so there's some crazy stuff like a car. Um, I just kind of put stuff in here because I can't keep any plants alive. But uh, this is one of my favorite lamps. And uh, it is Royal Hager. And then we've got Astrid here. Hello, Astrid. What are you doing? Hello. Hello. She's such a talker, but she just doesn't feel this guy over here, he's ready to play. <laughs> this is the ring light that I use to film most of my videos. And this is another Hager lamp that I have with the actual bird named Hager behind it. Getting into trouble. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Oh, Hager. <laughs> Uh, he was messing with the lamp. You can see it's a little off kilter. Uh, but this one is also a Royal Hager lamp. It is an elephant. And I bought this off of eBay. And the, the woman that I bought it from, she actually bought it broken and repaired the foot. The foot is a repair. And I thought that was just awesome that she had taken the time to fix the lamp, probably when nobody else was willing to give it a second chance. And she repaired the foot. And I saw it on eBay and I was like, you know what? I absolutely love that lamp, I have to have it. So it also has the matching finial right there. Hager likes it. I didn't actually think he could reach it until just now. He just revealed to me that he could reach it. You did, you just revealed yourself. And now I will move your cage farther away. Yeah. <laughs> um, and here, we have a pile of boxes. You're probably wondering, why do you have a pile of boxes? This pile of boxes is everything that I ordered in my video the other day, buying quarantine gifts for my family. 
Yesterday, the final package arrived from this order that I had placed. So that means I'm going to do an unboxing and then I'm going to deliver all of these wonderful gifts to my family. So that's why these are here. It was just yesterday, I, like I couldn't believe it. Um, but it was the mug and it was the very last, I think it was probably sent from very far away because it took probably two weeks and I had the rest of them sitting here. But it's fun because I actually went online the following day and ordered a bunch more stuff. That's why the pile looks really large. Cause I was like, you know what? That's not enough stuff. I have to go order some more. So there's some surprises here. There's definitely some surprises. Like maybe a lamp that might go with the other two that I have here in my living room. I don't know. You'll have to watch the video and find out. Yes, you tell them. Even the Conyers are gonna chime in. Um, so now we'll talk about the stuff that I, I didn't thrift, I guess. Uh, the rug, for instance, I got this at Overstock. This is an overstock.com buy, as well as that rug in there. Uh, and the TV stand. The TV stand was also overstock. It is a mid-century style stand, but uh, it is overstock.com. It took me like five hours to put that together. It's basically the same as Ikea and the, <laughs> the directions did not make sense. It took me five hours, but it was totally worth it because I think it looks great. There's a lot of storage and um, all the kids keep their, their games in here and stuff. So I, I, I'm usually against buying stuff new, but I love this. Uh, this lamp up here, I can't remember that I bought that such a long time ago that I honestly, I can't remember where I got that one at. Uh, but it's just a Torshare lamp. Uh, the bowl I got at Community Aid and we just drop our keys in there when we come in the door. It's just a nice pottery bowl. It had chips on it when I bought it. And so I thought, you know what? I'll just hold on to that and put it by the, by the door. Uh, and then we got this little guy down here. This was a Juliet find. She got this from the Vintage Dame at um, Marketplace of Le Moyne. And she, it, at the time, the ear was broken. It's broken even more now because uh, it got pushed over in front of the door and when Andrew opened the door the other day, it fell over and its ear broke worse than it was. But he's still kicking and uh, he, he guards the door for us. So um, he is a treasure. Um, but yeah, we really like him. And then the suitcase I got out of the bins, one of the times we went to the bins, and the box, I can't remember where the box came from, but we just use it to store all of our shoes. So the kids come in, they take off their shoes, and that's that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was just my living room. We will venture off into the dining room. Hager's really interested and, and he wants to be on the camera. You want to be on the camera? Come on, step up. Come on, camera. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hager, you ready? So, this is how we do it. Are you ready? So, I hope you guys enjoyed our video tour of the living room. Make sure you go check out some of the other videos for the bunker challenge. I believe George put together a playlist and I will try to link that down below. Um, like I said, there was a lot of other resellers putting out home tour videos and talking about their bunker. And so um, I will try to link that if I can find it. And uh, the next video we do will be in the dining room uh, where Hager lives. Are you excited to show them your house? <laughs> I think that's funny. It's funny, it's a little funny. <laughs> so uh, yes, in the next video, we'll go into the dining room. I'll show you some of the stuff we have in there that we have thrifted or bought secondhand. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Say bye. Bye bye. Or just laugh at them. Say see you later. Bye. Say bye. You say bye? Oh. Maybe. Say bye bye. Ooh.